you have to start weaving your brand in and out of everything that you do. I mean, this is only if you want your brand to succeed. Whether you're in real estate, financial services, insurance, you are your brand. Yeah, you might have a, an attachment to a company, but people are buying from you. And they wanna to get to know you before they trust you with their money. In this video, I wanna show you a couple ways that you can start weaving your brand in and out of everything you do to start getting more leads and more business. Check it out. My brand did not start to take off until I started weaving my brand in and out of my life. You know, it, people used to think that I was trying to be too much of a show off or, you know, be too selfish by putting my brand out and talk about it and wear it. And I'm sorry to disappoint anybody out there, but if you do not wear your brand on your sleeve, your own personal brand, then nobody will know who you are and what you're able to help them out with. You have to start showing people what you can do, talking about it, doing it day in, day out, not just from nine to five, but outside of those hours. Whether it's 10 o'clock at night, two in the morning, when they see you, hear you, get to meet you for the very first time, you are your own personal brand. Think about Gary Vaynerchuk. Do you think he stops at five o'clock, goes home and just puts out his phone and Goes, live, goes and lives his life in a certain way that's different than what's on camera. No, he is his own personal brand. And when people see him or hear him speak, it's the same thing they see on video. The brand doesn't change. The same thing with Grant Cardone. Now a lot of people say, well my brand is not Grant Cardone's, I'm not, I'm not that successful. These people have been doing it for 20, 30 years, maybe even longer. So quit comparing yourself to other people's brands right now. If you start weaving your brand in and out of going to the gym, okay, that's that num lesson number one here. What do you do that you're proud of already? Maybe it is go to the gym. I like going to the gym. I love going for runs. What I like to do is to showcase that on social media to show what's important to me. And maybe you don't want to showcase what you're not, not proud of. And that's totally fine. But you want to showcase what you're very, very proud of. And I see a lot of people who are very proud of going to the gym, you know, reading books, uh, you know, going to exotic places. They do this to show that it's important to them. They're proud of it. So other people could see what's important to that human being. Well, guess what? The connection's made. It says if that's important to them, that's sort of important to me. I am connected and, and bonded in a certain way. So step one here, when you're going to the gym or whenever you you know, get out of the gym, whether you get done with a run, maybe just tell the audience what you just did, how fast you did it in, you know, what you're proud of, because what you're doing with that is not just you know, talking about yourself, you're also inspiring and motivating other people. And I had no idea I was doing this until I saw people at the gym and I would see people outside and would talk to them as clients and they would say, man, you're really motivating, inspiring. That's amazing to hear. And it's just by putting out what I'm already doing. I know it sounds crazy, but to turn the camera around and hit record and, and just show you, your life to others, it does wonders for you, for them, for your brand, because people are saying, if that person's that committed to go to the gym or to run, how committed they are with their own company, their way of making money? Social media, there's many downsides to it. There are many, you can hide behind a lot of walls, but you can also take those walls down and showcase a lot about your life for very, very low money. Actually for free, just have a camera, have an internet connection, you get the apps and the world can see you. By putting yourself out there, and it doesn't have to be the highest quality, I believe quantity always leads to quality. So when you're out there, a quick little video here and there, and it's not just about the stuff that's saved, whether it's gonna be in your direct posts on Instagram or whether it's on YouTube. This could be in your stories, your Instagram stories, your Facebook stories. And you gotta understand how people interact with these apps. A lot of them, I get messages every day through my direct messages who watch my stories. So what you gotta start doing is understanding that people are not just gonna see it, you know, through your feed and say, hey, this person put this out there three months ago. 
This is every day. This is not a once a week, once a month, once a year thing. This is a consistent everyday approach. The more you do it, obviously the apps will reward you and keep you in a higher rank. And then you'll be able to meet more people who could show you tips and tricks that will eventually get you better audiences. Hashtag research. Uh, this does not happen overnight. I'm really just investing in my YouTube channel now. Uh, it took me six, seven months to build up my Facebook channel until you realize what you know you're good at and what you're bad at. And you can't do everything at once. Anyway, you're going to start to put your life out there, whether it's go to the gym. And the other thing you want to do is, is you want to showcase people that you talk to, people you've worked with. You are going to talk about stuff outside of just the work you've done for them. Get to know them personally. If you are able to connect with people outside of the actual business that you have, then you're going to have a better chance of um, you know, affecting their lives because their defense mechanism always says, this person just wants my business, that's all they care about. If you get to know their backstory, who they are, and they get to know yours, there's a bond that's made. So whenever you're connecting with people, whether it's gonna be Facebook Lives or whether it's you know engaging with people, Show other people that you're not just a businessman or a woman. Show them else what you really love. I've connected with individuals on cars. I have a 1969 Mustang that we're restoring. I love Harleys, I have an old Harley. I'm a Jeep guy, I love dogs. I show all this stuff in my social media because I'm a, it's, it, it's important to me. And if it's important to me, maybe it's important to someone else that is, is judging me. And if I can connect on that platform, says, hey, and it's not just about, you know, attraction marketing. I want to work with people who are attracted to that stuff too. So I am segmenting through and I'm putting this stuff out there because I know that when I put this out there, I'm attracting a certain audience and it's the audience that I know that I can help and I'm, you know, connected with in some way outside of just business. So it works both ways. And the third thing is, is what are you reading? What are you going to see? What movies do you like? These things, post about it. This has nothing to do with your brand or your company or what you're selling. But what it's doing is educating other people that you are into personal development. You're constantly trying to train yourself to get better. So show other people that you're what you're reading. You know, you are what you read, you are your network. And if you can, and I don't know how often you can do this because this is very difficult. Start showing other people your network. Who are you hanging around with? Now, I'm living in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm only getting maybe, maybe one client out of almost 100 have, have been from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So I get to show, whether it's on social media, whether it's in person, I get to show others my network because I'm constantly interacting, I'm constantly sharing, I'm constantly putting stuff out there. And I'm weaving my life in and out of my brand or vice versa, my brand in and out of whatever I do. So it's whether it's interaction, whether it's what I, my hobbies, whether it's uh, where I live, whether it's the activities that I do, I'm constantly putting it out there for them to see and for them to know the real Mike Fallot. In the very beginning, your personal brand, you know, people aren't just buying it because it's a great known product or service. They're going to be buying a part of you and they want to feel good about the person that they're going to be buying it from. So if you could put yourself out there in every shape or form, Instagram stories, here's a tip for you guys. You have to use this once a day. Instagram is going to reward you and get you much more exposure. You're able to see how many people are watching. You're able to get direct messages, build a connection with, them, with people. Facebook stories, another message for you guys. Use it once a day, at least once a day. Quick little 15 second video. This will disappear. You are going to do this to talk about yourself. I personally will say something along the lines of my tagline associated with other things. My name is Mike Fallett, started a company worth six figures, helped about 100 entrepreneurs bring their story to life. I started from zero. It's constantly putting out there who I am, what I know, what I'm good at, and what I believe strongly in. Whether it's the started from zero tagline, which is the apparel, which is also the personal branding. But it's also getting into people's minds, oh, he's the starter from zero guy. Oh, he's the book guy. And you're doing this while you're just driving, whether you're just running, whether you're just walking, whether you're just taking, whether you're just taking your dog for a walk. 
whatever it is, you're showing the people uh, the real behind the scenes view of your life. And social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube are the best ways to get to know someone on the other side of the world. Show people the real truth. And what happens with that? Good things always come when you put it out there for other people to see the whole picture. Differentiate yourself from others. A lot of people hide behind social media. They only show the real high quality pictures. They only show what the, the best part about them or best views. But we're getting into a quantity leads to quality world. Show everything, be different. Don't just worry about the greatest quality pictures and videos. People respect truth because it's so rare. So make sure you show it out there for the world to see. Any other ideas, questions, whatever you want to ask me about uh, personal branding, putting a book out to the world, please let me know. Comment down below. Message me on SoundCloud, Facebook, Instagram. I'm here to help you, especially if you started from zero also. My name is Mike Fallett, and we'll see you in the next video.